welcome to hashtag Dear Hunter, where you guys send in your relationship slash love slash friendship questions with the hashtag Dear Hunter, and I answer them from a guy's perspective. LPS Candy Hearts trademarked says, Hunter, I have a passion to sing, but I'm terrified to sing for the talent show because my crush will be watching and may make fun of me. I don't want to let my friend down. What should I do? Hashtag Dear Hunter. First off, if you have a passion for anything, Literally nothing should stand in your way of pursuing it and sharing it with the world. Unless you have a passion for kicking people. Then a lot of things should stop you from doing that. But you don't, Candy Hearts! You love singing! And if you're truly passionate about it, you shouldn't care that someone may make fun of you for it. Now I know how hard that may sound, especially when performing for someone you like. But the good news is you'll always be nervous. Wait, what? Yeah, you'll always be nervous. I mean, I perform in front of people for a living and I still get nervous. But there are ways to calm your nerves so that it really isn't that bad. And hey, it works for me, so it should work for you too. So here are the three ways to calm your nerves. Number one, change your goal. This is my number one go-to way to get over my nerves. All I do is change my goal so that it doesn't involve the obstacle I'm scared of. In your case, Candy Hearts, your goal is to not fail on stage in front of your crush. That goal alone is setting yourself up for failure. Instead, make your goal to impress your crush while on stage. And if you want to take it a step further, don't even worry about your crush at all. Pretend he or she isn't there and instead make your goal to simply get on stage. That's an easy task and you can 100% do it from there you'll be fine. Number two, make a joke of it. No one can make fun of you if you're already making fun of yourself. So you can either start your performance with a silly little joke or make the whole performance fun and or funny while still showing off your amazing capabilities and passion. And if you want to talk to your crush after the show, apply the same method. Referring to yourself, say, Whoa, did you see that girl on stage earlier? She was terrible. Get off the stage. I mean, I think she's an amazing person with a great personality, but yeah, what do you think? Works every time. Number three, understand that he's there for you. Okay, maybe not you specifically, but he'll be watching the talent show to see talented people and he'll be surprised and impressed when he sees you up there. Yeah, when you go up there, you risk messing up on stage, but you also risk not messing up and impressing everyone at your school. And personally, that's a risk I'm willing to take. And even if you do mess up, refer back to number two. So those are the three ways to be brave in front of your crush, specifically at a talent show, but applicable everywhere. You guys watching at home, what are you passionate about? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to tweet me any hashtag Dear Hunter questions at my Twitter, at HunterMarch, or you can just use that link below. And I almost forgot to tell you guys, today is hashtag Hunter Tuesday, meaning you guys get two videos from me today. One, this hashtag Dear Hunter, and two, on my main channel, a video where I do a haul from my trip to New York City. It's really funny, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to check it out, just make sure to click that video right up there and enjoy. If you guys don't enjoy it, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. And make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV for more hashtag Dear Hunter every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Sincerely, Hunter. That's me.